Greenwich Food Bank is about empowering people and showing people love. Hi, my name is Jamie. I'm CEO of Greenwich Food Bank. Being CEO effectively means that I'm here to serve everybody else that volunteers or works at Greenwich Food Bank to make sure they're able to do the best job possible. The last couple of years have been crazy for Greenwich Food Bank and for all food distribution units within the borough. We have seen increase of food bank use and that looks huge if you take a look at the figures. 168,000 meals plus were given out during the pandemic by Greenwich Food Bank alone. In 2021, over 90,000 meals were given out by Greenwich Food Bank. And this year, it's early March now, so we've had a couple of months of 2022, and we've already distributed over 16,000 meals. 40% of the meals that Greenwich Food Bank give out are eaten by people under the age of 18. Of that 40%, 30% of those are children under the age of 10. So the figures are huge, and the impact that this is having on children and families in the borough is really significant. What we are doing is just one food distribution thing, but this is on top of schools having to give out food. This is on top of food clubs. This is on top of individuals that are running smaller food banks as well. So it's a really busy time for anyone that is trying to just make sure that people and children and families get fed in an adequate way. Life is getting more and more expensive and more and more complex. It's an incredibly difficult time to raise a family and an incredibly difficult time to just be a kid. And so what we are seeing at Greenwich Food Bank is that people are struggling to make ends meet. In reality, that to us looks like people coming through the doors and saying, I just need some food until my next payday. That pattern of behaviour is new and that would suggest to us that child poverty and poverty within a family context is definitely on the increase. To access Greenwich Food Bank, all you need to do is contact one of our local referral agencies. We have over 250 of them and these are people that work for the local council. Your GP would be able to refer you. Schools in the local borough are able to refer families as well. Children's centres, if they see a need, are able to refer to us. We work very closely with children's centres in that regard. In terms of eligibility, at this stage, if you say you need food, you will not go away empty-handed. We do not make any judgment at the point of entry to food bank use at all. All that we ask is that you have open and honest conversation with us over a cup of tea so that we can say what's going on and how can we help you. The truth is that the people that we see coming through are so varied that there is no one eligibility criteria that fits. This is a, an embedded problem that we have in society and we are simply here to help. So our hope is that people will not only get fed physically by the food that we're providing but also when they arrive at our welcome centres they would feel loved and welcomed particularly for families and children at the moment it's a huge strain on someone when they arrive and they're just trying to get across that basic problem of needing food to also be thinking about how can I improve my situation and so our hope is that we can also do something to help them get to the end of their particular problem. When we look at the general situation out there politically, socially, economically, we can see that we're going to be around for a while. But one day our mission is to close and that is not to close in terms of giving up on the problem but it's actually to close in terms of finding the solution. Hi, my name is Amanda Wilson and I'm the head teacher at St Alfred and St Peter's Primary School. So percentage wise we've probably got about 35% which equates to about 86 children that are on free school meals. The term free school meals is essentially they get a free school dinner but then they're also entitled to get grants towards um, school journey, they can get grants towards uniform. Uh, so there's a, a wealth of things that if you're on free school meals you also get access to. But the, the you know it's the same dinner, there's no difference. It doesn't, you know, don't have green plates for one set of children and red plates for the other. Everyone gets the same. There hasn't necessarily been an increase in free school meals, 
because it's um, it's based on sort of what parents are earning and that's pretty much stayed the same. But that's not to say there aren't parents whose income hasn't changed because of the pandemic. We know that some parents lost their jobs, but they wouldn't have been entitled straight away to receive that additional support. So we started it in September 2021 and it was as a result of coming back from the pandemic and children being at home. And we started it, in fact, it was probably October because we did it to coincide with harvest because we thought that was a really good time for people to bring in their goods because we normally have a good response to Harvest Festival but usually the food goes to the church and then they distribute it but we thought this time around as a way to kickstart the food bank we would ask parents to provide things that we could put in there and we got an, an absolutely amazing response we really did and that was from the, the parents here and from members of the congregation at St Alfred's Church as well. They just need to come in and see us. There's no criteria. They don't have to be on free school meals. We have families that are working, not entitled to free school meals. Where there's a need, we'll meet that need. We're not necessarily getting those parents that are coming through at the moment, and that could be for a number of reasons, sort of pride and just timing. So what we're going to be doing is putting some food packages together for the Easter holidays and identifying those families who we think would really benefit from it, and then we'll just approach them and give them the, the, the gifts. So in addition to having the food bank, our year six has recently went on school journey and we had about three families I think who couldn't afford to pay for it, it's probably about 200, 300 pounds. So we thankfully get some money from an organisation called Greenwich Charities and we paid for them to, to, to go because we, I said to the parents, let's not money stop you from attending uh, and, and they were able to go because of that, otherwise they wouldn't have been able to attend which would have been a real shame.